how to use Pinterest's messaging feature. Hi, my name is Krishna Day. You'll find me online at krishnaday.com. Today, I'd like to share with you how to use a new feature that was released by Pinterest on the 6th of August, 2014. If you're using Pinterest for your business, you'll be interested in this because not only can we now share pins that we come across with people either by email or on Pinterest, as we have been able to do for some time, now we can put a message with it. So let's say, for example, you're working with a client and you come across something you think might be of interest. You don't have to take that link outside of Pinterest. You can just put a message with it directly there. Perhaps that's somebody you're working with around maybe some photography projects or some design projects. Perhaps you're uh, planning an event. Lots and lots of different ways you can do this. So here on my desktop, just to show you where you find the feature, it's going to be up here in the area of notifications. Notifications typically covers areas such as where people have repinned your content, left comments, and also invited you to group boards. So I'm going to go to my notifications, which is over on the top right of my screen. So in the notification area, I can actually see notifications, which I've just explained, but also messages. So here you can see some people that I've already been sharing content with since this new feature has come out. So one of the ways that you might use this, and it depends if your content gets repinned a lot, could of course go back to people on your own pin to say thanks for pinning it but in this particular case this is what I did with somebody I shared a message so somebody had repinned something I'd shared yesterday and I've gone back to Penny who I know and I said thanks so much for repinning and it actually might be we want to share other content that we've come across with people so let me show you how I'm going to do that but this is where you're going to find your messages in the first place. I've been pinning some content today and one of the things I came across was this recipe for red velvet coconut donuts. So yes, I have a board on Pinterest all about baked donuts. And so what I'll do if I just hover over it, it gives me the opportunity to send. And when I do that, it says add a message. So this is where we're going to be able to add a message. And then we can search for people we know. So I know I've got a friend on here called Arlene. And just by starting to type in a message to her, I can see the information there. So in this particular case, I can actually add a message to her for that to be sent to her. You'll also see it shows you the people that you've most recently been talking to. So in this particular case, I could just highlight that person again. And what happens is it then opens up because I've already sent them a message previously. And what I can do now is actually add in a little message. So right at the bottom, you'll see that I can add in the message there. So because I've already been having a conversation, then it will pick that person up and identify them very easily for us to be able to then send content to them. So now you can see I've actually sent a little message attached to that pin. The other thing you can do, which is super easy, is you can also drag content as that area is already open because I've actually been in conversation. I can also add easily other content. So let me show you how that works. If I just take this pin and I can just drag it in and then I'm ready to send a message again. And again, I just hit enter and my message is connected to it. So in this case, I'm collaborating and talking to my daughter who's on Pinterest and sharing recipes with her for our little series we have about cooking with the kids. Once I've stopped that conversation, I can just close out. There'll be a little X here. And also I can just delete her avatar on the bottom left. Um, you can't quite see it, it's just the way that this has been cut off on my screen today. But what's helpful is if we've closed that off and we then want to go back, let's say tomorrow, to have a conversation with somebody and we want to share more content with them. What I can do is I can go back to my messages and I can drag that person over onto an area. And there comes all the messages and now I can continue the conversation. So let's say there's some other content I want to share in this particular case. Let's take this recipe. I can just drag it over so easily here and again, just add a message. So I've typed in my message, I hit enter 
and now it's been sent to her. So I hope you'll find this an interesting feature to use, perhaps use it to go back and say thank you to people, collaborate on projects and really think about how you might even have a couple of people or your team that you're actually sharing information with. Of course, there are lots of other ways you can share information on Pinterest. One of my favourite ways is to create secret boards for projects and assignments, and that might be something else that you want to explore. If you're interested in finding more tips about using Pinterest in your organisation, by all means, contact me for my online workshops and in-house programmes. I also cover Pinterest in some of my visual content marketing events where I'm speaking. However, I have a lot of curated content and I use Pinterest um, really for my clients and for students on my programs. And so I invite you to come over to pinterest.com forward slash Krishna Day. And here you'll find lots of tips, everything from Pinterest training and tips, examples of Pinterest competitions, Pinterest case studies, organizations using Pinterest. And as I'm in Ireland, I also curate content about organizations using Pinterest in their businesses in Ireland. There's lots of other content marketing, social media tips here from Instagram to Vine and Snapchat. And also, of course, one of the current things that people are doing is using selfies in marketing. You'll find a whole board there all about selfies and using that in your marketing campaigns. Do let me know how you plan to use this new feature of Pinterest messaging in your organisation. And if you've got questions about it, then by all means, come over to Pinterest, leave me a question there. Of course, you'll find me on most other social networks. And you can also find my contact details at krishnaday.com.